Good morning, you gorgeous individuals. Welcome back to a very, very cold Sunday morning in Lancashire. I'm Dave Keith. This is ABL Reselling. And I know, I know I've neglected you. It's been probably getting on three weeks since I, I've made a video now. Had quite a lot going on, actually, which has meant that uh, producing content has not exactly been uh, my top priority. So I apologize, no better excuse than that. <laughs> a little bit bleary eyed this morning because I was up uh, later than I probably should have been last night on Saturday Night Live over on Night's Life channel. Now, if you haven't seen this, the two guys that present Saturday Night's Live, Night with a K, they're the reseller's answer to Ant and Deck. So it's on at half past seven, every Saturday night. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's brilliant. It's such a good crack. Been fortunate enough to be a guest on there a couple of times now, or three times actually. So if reselling is your game, check it out. So nice plug for Rich's channel there. I'll stick a little channel banner down here or up here somewhere anyway, so you can check it out. Anyway, back to today. What we're gonna do today is get over to a new boot sale. With boot sales this time of year, it's very, very much hit and miss, but it's a bit of a double whammy today. I've got wind that there is a new boot sale in Preston. So I'm gonna check that out. And if it wasn't for the fact that I'll actually be selling today as well, there is another one just around the corner in a mill. Obviously this time of year, indoor boot sales are absolutely invaluable. So if you do research, they are about people. Like I say, these two are less than half an hour away from where I live. So perfect, obviously. Didn't know anything about them whatsoever until earlier this week. So I'm going to go and check out at least one of them. I'm not going to get to the second because obviously I'm selling and hopefully make some money and spend some money. Definitely need my pit stop for coffee this morning. So that Costa coffee machine is going to get some business out of me. <laughs> so enough chirping. Let's get rocking and rolling and see what we can find. All the, all the fire there? Fire three. Yeah.
I need to get me trolley. <laughs> I need to get me trolley. <laughs> I have a trolley. Well, there you say what? No flies on me. <laughs> You've been going home before long. Slow movers. And we saw these Lacoste, these are all there, but they're all yeah. they're Lacoste, they're six. I've never had much uh, success with Lacoste, no. to be honest, Hiking boots by any chance? No, I don't think so. No. I'm just getting rid of this dot because I want some more for me. Yeah. And I'm aware for like two months, so. Gotcha. I've got one in the garage. Seven. I've got my son's kids. Sounds alright. Yeah, I'm not sure I've got one. Size 10, yeah, a bit small for me, those. Yeah. If you have any other like, adult no. ones, though, no. uh, I don't know. I might have, I don't know whether I brought them. So. Yeah. See if you can find one more pair, take me up to 10. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's mostly brands. Mostly brands that I'm looking for. Yeah. Can you just weigh in for those? We've got 10, 10 pairs there. We've got. Just have a look. 10? Yeah. You'll never look at men too well. I will do, yeah. What, uh, I was going to say if you. To be honest with you, I didn't expect to pick up very much today, so yeah. I've not brought much cash with really. me. But I'm selling today. I'm on yeah. the next table to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Belting. 
if you have a, if, if you do come across any docks, um, give us a shout. I won't, I won't have them yeah. prepared. I sell trainers. Oh, of course, trainers. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, These no. is all like surplus. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind yeah. paying up a bit for docks and yeah. that because I, I, I do, I do, I do like risk paying them, yeah. Morning, Paul. Morning, Mark. How much you got on that fella? Ten of that, mate. Is it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I know somebody who's into uh, island cows. How much you on your boots, Paul? Well, two quid a pair of shoes, trainers, boots. And we're back to the lovely land of Chorley. And as you can see from the window behind me, it's dark because I did have my customary nap and it's taken me till this time to bloody warm up. I have froze my whatnots off this morning. Like I said at the top of the video, first time to the Preston boot sale, the one at the market anyway. Didn't know what to expect. I believe it's only just recently restarted up. So I think it's something that's gonna uh, probably take a bit of time to pick up some steam. There is another one, as I said as, as well earlier, uh, very, very close to that one now. That's going to be worth checking out because it's a, a properly indoor in a mill uh, boot sale. So maybe that got all the trade. Who knows? I'll probably check it out next weekend. Now, I purposely didn't vlog the bit where I was selling because it's just the most boring job resellers do. Just clearing out some old stock, it's just mind numbing. And in this case today, it was toe numbing, finger numbing, ear numbing. <laughs> Now, it was actually one trader that saved my bacon today as far as pickups were concerned. Total spend was £56 and for that I got 12 pickups. So you guys know the score, usual script. I'm going to strap the GoPro to my head and take you through what I picked up and how much I'm expecting to list it for. Let's get into it. Okie dokie then, here we go. No points for guessing the nature of the stall that the one trader that saved my bacon today was all about. Footwear, footwear and more footwear. Not complaining because this is good quality merchandise. Uh, some new, some used. Let's get into it anyway. First up, very nice pair of Brogue boots. The brand is London Brogues, ironically made in India. Clearly used, but in very, very, very good condition. London, well, Brogues in general, Brogue, Brogue boots are strong strong sellers. If you can get uh, recognised branded ones, all the better. These are a very, very good quality feel boot. There is the odd mark on them, but nothing major. Nothing, certainly no more than you'd expect from a, from a, a worn pair of boots. A decent average size as well at a size nine. Listing value on these Brogue boots is £35. Next up, in fact, the next three ups are Vans trainers. First off, they're a little bit smaller than I'd like, really. It's a uh, size four, UK four and a half. Uh, these, 
the, the lady that was selling these uh, told me that she was clearing out a shop. This is all surplus stock. No reason to believe she was telling the truth or leading me up the garden path kind of thing. They are what they are. They all checked out. It's all genuine gear. There is the odd storage mark on these. There's a little bit of dirt. So obviously I'm going to be listing these as used rather than new even though they clearly are there there's no wear to the sole whatsoever but because of the other wear on them not really comfortable listing them as new or new with defects i don't particularly like the term new with defects i'd much rather you use, uh, use the term used in the, in those instances i just think new with defects leaves a bit of a sour taste in a buyer a potential sour taste in a buyer's mouth before they even start looking at the, the, the product so anyway very quirky these vans nice slip on checking comps on similar what used vans of, with a check pattern looking at about around about the 20 pound mark because these are slightly quirky and i think these will fly i've got a good feeling about them that's where i'm going to be aiming so listing value on those vans 20 pound next i am very confident in listing these as you there's a little bit of dust residue on the insole but that looks like it'll just wipe off with a bit of a, a dry cloth wipe aside from that absolutely mint condition obviously more of a girly kind of style these are a uk size five comps only supporting a slightly lower value than the the slip on ones so listing value on those is going to be 18 pound next some very very funky looking leopard print vans obviously lace up size five again a lot of the slip on ones they don't look like they've had much use at all, but they're almost certainly used. On vans, even though they're very, very good sellers and the, the quick turnover as well, one point to note is often the outside of the shoe will separate from the heel and it will look on the face of, on the face of it like they're in pretty good condition obviously when you're picking up shoes you're doing the bend test to see if the rubber splits but on vans particularly and on, on some converse you'll find the outside the white outside separates from the heel and so just run around it with your thumb to see if it separates and if it does it's not worth you while picking up in the main because you're going to need to repair them before sale and the time expense takes the margin out of the shoe so that's one thing to watch out for these all check out again like i said not massive amounts of wear and a lot of this is going to be coming off with a with a baby wipe anyway as far as the fabric's concerned unless i really have to and there's decent margin in the shoe i'll only pick up shoes that are either very easy to clean or like i say have decent margin to warrant me putting the effort into cleaning them properly or running through the washing machine that kind of thing the listing value on the leopard print vans again 18 pounds Next, a very tasty pair of Nike Air Zoom Elite. I've done my due diligence and these all check out as, as genuine. I would have liked to have kept these myself, actually. I'm after a pair of gym trainers, uh, but these just a, uh, a bit too small for me at a size seven. They've clearly been worn. There's some wear to the, to the soles, but aside from that, the body's looking pretty minty condition, actually. I think I may well have undervalued these because of the condition on them, but the listing value I'm going to put on them is £25. Next, ladies running trainers. These are the adidas flash runner pretty good condition overall really but it's slightly worn they've not been kicked to death kind of thing but and looking at them because they look pretty funky actually and because of the brand i did actually think they were worth more than they were i didn't check the comps on a lot of these because i relied very heavily on my own personal experience with them but this one surprised me slightly because the comps are only supporting a listing value of about 16 pound on those even though they're in extremely good nick now as far as the trainers are concerned these were definitely definitely the pickup of the bunch uh, i'm hoping that the uh, outs the, the sole outer will wipe up quite nicely these are the adidas originals indoor super now you do have to do your due diligence on those it's worthwhile investing some time in some tips and tricks in how to look for fakes because particularly the adidas originals the adidas superstar that we're going to come on in a minute they're heavily heavily copied so make sure you invest a bit of time into some really good tips to make sure you can weevil out fakes these check out they're a little bit worn i've got a suede brush that they'll be getting the once over with just to make them look really nice for the for the pictures like i say on the soles more often than not a baby wipe scrub will bring them up quite nicely these trainers are going to be worthwhile though putting a bit more effort into making them look 
super duper for the for the pitches gonna put a rain a bit of a range on these because there are other very slight variants in style and obviously different colors on the indoor super and i'm going to do a bit more digging but the listing value range i'm going to put is 40 to 65 pound for the purposes of this video i'll probably mention this again at the end when i do the roundup but for the purposes of the video where i've used a range when i'm giving a listing value uh, for the grand total at the end i'll always use the bottom end of that range just to for fairness's sake basically small pair of timberland boots these are a size four pretty uh, good condition again uh, they will be getting a, a once over clean down uh, this these are good quality boots obviously timberland a very very well-known brand i think this is more of a youth size than anything else if it wasn't for if the zip wasn't present i would have said this was probably more of a ladies but it can be appealing to both youth and ladies sort of like age groups if these were a larger size and the more stereotypical uh, timberlands i would have been looking at a high evaluate high evaluation that i have put on these but the listing value i've put on these boots because they're in pretty decent nick is 25 to 30 pound i've never seen these funky trainers before well not this style anyway these are adidas superstar black and obviously white size is six for the black and five and a half for the white the black are a little bit tired looking, but certainly uh, still worth picking up. I think it's just going to need a bit of a freshen up with the, this way brush. I've sold countless pairs of Adidas Superstars in the past. Very, and they all come with this sort of like this uh, shell effect toe. Obviously not all with metal shiny ones, but uh, that, that's sort of they all follow a similar kind of style. Decent bread and butter kind of values on these. On both of these pairs of trainers, I'm going to put a listing value of £18 each. On the home straight already, sadly, but these are Nike Hyper Venom Neymar. I've just very recently recently sold a pair of these boots and they do look quite tatty but they're really easy to clean I mean, largely you can do that with baby wipes which uh, are just a staple tool <laughs> I did give the, give the, spend a bit of time looking the, uh, these over on the stand because of how grubby they are looking at the wear on the, the molded studs looking at any kind of separation on the toes quite often the, there'll be chunks missing out of the vinyl on the inside the, the heel they can get holes obviously i'm looking at the state of uh, the insoles and if you look past the grubbiness of these trainers they are actually in excellent condition probably why the seller priced them at to the price they put on them and also probably why a lot of other buyers just walk straight past them but these are in fact i'm going to do a before and after on these trainers on this video just to show the transformation between this pair of boots that a lot of people walk past and what they're going to look like for sale The pair I sold just recently sold for £22. I'm going to edge my bets on these just in case <laughs> I shoot myself in the foot with what I've just said and cleaning them up does reveal some nasties. But the listing value I'm going to put on those with my fingers crossed is £20. Lastly, these were a bit of a steal actually. I paid very, very little for all these TDK mini dv tapes they've been very very good to me because they're often sold very very cheaply they were in this case these are brand spanking new still sealed but even the mini dv tapes that are, are used can still fetch decent value in bundles but nine tapes all from the same seller these will be getting listed these will be getting bundled into job lots of three and um, for each job lot of three i'm going to put a listing value of 9.99 each now, as well as being very, very quiet for sellers at today's boot sale, it was also very, very quiet for buyers. Just as an aside, I actually made £60 selling after my pitch fee and fuel and expenses and that kind of thing. So not a fantastic result from selling at the boot sale. It was a worthwhile exercise though. Typically, boot sales at this time of year are very, very quiet across the board anyway. You take your chances with the weather and obviously the people we want to be buying from don't want to go out in the cold. Who <laughs> in the right mind does apart from resellers? So turtles time. Turtle spent today was £56. And for that, I picked up 12 items. Again, use your script. All the valuations I've put on these items are going to be plus postage. And just as a reminder, where I've used a range as far as the listing value is concerned, for the grand total, I'm going to use the bottom end of that range for fairness purposes. So the total gross listing value of all today's items is £288. I'm already longing for the days when boot sale season kicks off properly next year, when I'm sure we can start seeing some impressive margins again. But still, I was home for midday, warming me cockles. <laughs> 
So combine the listing value with what I actually took from selling at the boot sale, over 300 pound for a morning's work is nothing to be sniffed at really. I certainly can't complain. Now I know a lot of people in the reselling community have been experiencing a bit of a dip in their sales. All I can say is, all I can do is offer encouragement to you guys and keep the pedal to the metal. We're in the thick of Q4. It's payday weekend next weekend. So keep those listings flying up. Don't let up, it will come. Even if you're experiencing a lull in your sales at the moment, I am myself, I've certainly had better week, weekends. Keep it going and it will come good. It always does. Like I said when I opened this video, apologies, I've been neglecting you lovely folk for, for a couple of weeks, but I'm back on the case now, coming to furnish you with my weird and wonderful interpretation of what it means to be a full-time reseller. If you've got any value out of this video or you've got any entertainment at all or you want to support the channel, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me reach a wider audience and hopefully help somebody else out there with their reselling journey. I'm sure you gorgeous people already are, but if you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. I just want to say a very, very big heartfelt thank you to everybody who does support the channel. It really is appreciated. You, you guys taking the time out of your day to listen to me waffle on for a bit is absolutely brilliant. And like I say, love you lots for it. So until next time, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next video. Bye for now.